Taurus, this is going to be a 48 hour forecast for you. So July 21st through the 22nd is the time frame. I'm super excited to see what new energy we got going for you guys. Of course, keep in mind this is general. Only take what does apply to you and let the rest fly. If at any point you do need a personal, just check out the description. My information to book a session is listed there. Also, if you're new, welcome. Welcome to the tribe. It's good vibes over here, obviously. If you would like to see more of our uploads, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Make sure y'all smash the like button as well if you enjoy the vibes, okay? And let's get into it. So I want to talk to you a little bit about what I feel. So this is a time frame in which you guys just need to let the divine take control, take the wheel. A lot of times when things aren't really going the way that we wanted to, we want to have full control. And sometimes it's better to just let the divine take the driver's seat, especially when they have a plan for us that we don't quite get. Um, and, and when I'm saying surrender, this is like surrendering when it comes to people around you. And some of you, you have love situations in particular that you feel like you've gotten wrong then. OK, because um, I'm just picturing like the justice card in reverse in my head. <laughs> but you may have been wronged in a particular relationship and you're like, dang, when is this person going to get their karma? Especially if it's seemingly like they're just living their best life after doing you wrong. OK, or the surrendering in regards to a job situation getting better if you don't have a job or just you're working at a job where it's just extremely stressful. Or. It just doesn't seem that stable. But another thing that I see for you guys um, when it comes to karma, there is going to be a lot of karmic situations that spring up uh, beyond just this time frame. And you guys do need to make sure when it comes to people around you that you're not allowing yourself to be, like I said, put in a disadvantage position because of the fact that you you care about someone but they don't genuinely reciprocate that energy but anyways let's go ahead and get into the reading so we have the six of swords sorry about that guys um representing this energy so with the six of swords this is the energy of moving to a better mental space which is very very positive this is the calm after the storm this is after you've gone through a fair share of trials, tribulations, arguments, um, problems. This is you mentally moving to a better space, but also the calm starts to kick in after being through being put through a lot of like stressful situations here. Let me clarify this. Yeah, two of emotions. A lot of you are moving on from somebody who didn't reciprocate your love, who didn't appreciate your love when you may have given it to them or didn't see what you were trying to bring to the table. A lot of you, it has nothing to do with love at all. It may have more so you moving to a better mental space after being in so much anxiety or fear. And through you being able to move forward, mentally there's balance that's created. Some of you are moving and you may have just moved, actually, and you may be, may be meeting someone new during this time frame. So I would definitely go out and have fun if you did just move to a new city. OK, now the next card is going to represent what actions you can take to make the most out of this energy. OK, we have the Wheel of Fortune. This is a very positive card as well. You guys have been getting positive cards for like the past couple of days. So. Interesting. So with the Wheel of Fortune, there's nothing that you necessarily have to do. This is good fortune, good luck being on your side after being in a cycle of, like I said, chaos and karma is at play. You guys may have been on the right side of the situation. So if you have been wrong in any type of way or if things were kind of imbalanced for a while, this is now the cycle coming to a point of completion and you guys stepping into more favorable energy. So this is positive. Okay. 
So the next card is going to represent whatever obstacles or challenges that may come up during this time frame. So we have the Ten of Swords. So this is more so coming to terms with some shocking endings that have taken place recently. This may be more so the obstacle. You guys may be having a hard time, you know, coming to peace or coming to a point where you're like content with the fact that someone you really, really cared about and you are no longer together. Or you getting fired from a job suddenly may be like really annoying to you. Whatever endings that abruptly took place during this time frame or any endings that have anything to do with betrayal, that may be something you're having a hard time coming to terms with. Also, some of you have more so like a hard time with your your thought process. You could have moments where you just start to think crazy things and like destructive thoughts. And it can make you like kind of procrastinate and things like that. But when it comes to the future, I have the three of emotions here. OK, so with the three of emotions of the three of cups, this may be you reuniting with like some old friends or some old flings. <laughs> OK, this could be also you guys celebrating some sort of like accomplishment. This could be like um, a personal accomplishment or something career wise. Hmm. Some of you may be um, getting invited to like an event or something like that. And you meet someone new via that event as well. So that's interesting. And now the last card this is going to represent what you've been avoiding prior to this time frame that you will have to face during this time frame. So we have the temperance card. So this may be a Sagittarius in specifics. They could have this in their sun, moon, rising or Venus placement or somewhere in their chart. Or this has a lot to do with um, you guys needing to stop procrastinating on something and work on having a level of patience. Some of you are like procrastinating to do something because, you know, it may take some time to build or to do. Um, hmm. This is also like you having more so a balanced schedule. Some of you may be all work and no personal life. Or all um or reverse, excuse me. But this is what I see. I hope I put things in place for you guys who may have been confused, who may have needed some clarity. If you did enjoy, definitely feel free to thumbs the video up and subscribe. Check out this uh check out the description if you need a personal, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.